in Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. And I'm IT Explosive Fun, and we're starting the timer. Let's um, get into eventually it. Eventually starting the timer. It started. Um, TNT, I Ooh. was reading on Reddit today, and I saw a... Uh, a little thing about Big Pun. I literally know nothing about Big Pun. You, you're, not, you're not familiar with I don't want to be a player no more? I guess not. I saw, But I went to his Wikipedia because mm -hmm. it was posted that. What it said was that they didn't realize Big Pun weighed almost 700 pounds when he died. He was a big guy. He died of a heart attack in a hotel room. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they said he was supposed to do something with, with Fat Joe, who I yeah. guess discovered him. Yes. Oddly enough, Fat Joe and Big Pun, I don't know, whatever. Um, <laughs> Fat Joe was pretty big, too, but uh, Crack actually lost some weight. Yeah, his friends was... call him Crack. I'm one of his friends, so I can call oh, him Crack. Gotcha. Um, but I guess he was supposed to be on Saturday Night Live or something with him, and he canceled, and then two days later, he died in a yeah, hotel room. Yeah, yeah. So, um, he was a big boy. But what? I'm not a player. I just crush a lot. That doesn't bring any. Nah, dude. I don't. None of that. Okay. Nah, dude. Okay. I tried. I, tried. I uh, once uh, once they we got out of gangster rap and went into No Limit. I was done with rap for a while. Boricua, oh, I, yeah, yeah, okay. You remember that? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's you, that's a big fun. How could you not remember Boricua? Boricua, um, Morena. So, uh, but yeah. Anyways, what it said in the I read the little Wikipedia blurb about him. Yeah. It said that, uh. He it got to the point where his him and his friends argued about his weight so much mm -hmm. that he would he stopped eating in front of people that he knew he would only eat in private. Oh, like he because and then yeah. like and uh, when I was reading through the comments, people were posting other articles about it. His crew was enabling that they would. It said when he got really big, they would changed the tags on his clothes so he thought he was still wearing 2x what yeah they said that that he would they were to the, enabling him to the point of like yeah making him think he still wore 2x and like he and they said not. you know somebody was like well how did they do that and they're like well easy you buy a 5x you buy a 2x and you change the tags and somebody was like you're in my definition of easy or completely different yeah that's nowhere near easy that's absolutely nuts that it got to that point yeah. Now I I know I could totally understand like a a bigger person not wanting to eat in front of people, especially if their friends are getting on to them about their weight. Yeah, right? and I mean honestly, at seven hundred pounds, your friends need to be getting on you. Yeah. If you came up in here seven hundred pounds, we're gonna have a discussion. Yeah. Well, he, all right. It's funny you should bring that up. <laughs> You're thinking about gaining? No. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. We will I, have a discussion. I have been very when I was younger, it's very big. Um, you are your big guy. Yeah, I was a big guy. Well, even when I was like really young, twenty, I was probably like my biggest. Then I've abed in. What, what would you say your biggest was? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Pushing four bills. Okay. Probably. Okay. Um, and uh, but it was it was interesting to me that you know because like but I was never hindered by my weight really like I I didn't yeah. I didn't have trouble breathing I didn't I mean I couldn't climb a damn fence right or like <laughs> or fit into like a, yeah, a small but you hung space. out you hung yeah, out yeah I was I could I would go out and run around the yard and stuff like I didn't have knee problems and which was super thankful for now that I'm grown and I've lost a bunch of weight and I'm more average sized you know I'm glad that I didn't screw myself up for later in life um but but like what was interesting is not one person ever said to me at any point in my life family or other Hey, what are you doing? I, I look, man. But look. Well, no, hold on. I'll let you talk inside about that. But I've had people afterwards say to me, "Man, I'm glad you lost that weight. I was really worried about you." <laughs> and I was like, "So you were worried enough to tell me that yeah. you're grateful I lost the weight, but yeah. weren't worried enough about me to tell me, hey, I'm worried about you when you're big.'" All right. Well, first off, how do you have that conversation with a 20 year old? You you really can't. Yeah, that right. conversation ain't gonna go great no. with a twenty year old. No, it's right? not. That conversation ain't gonna go great with, a, with most people. Most people don't want to hear that ish from anybody. But. No, it's true. Cause well, cause obviously when a lot of times when people get that big, uh, they have uh, an addiction. And it, well, or or there's a, a something they have a, a emotional response trauma yeah, yeah, that yeah, like yeah. you know like they eat their feelings you know whatever. Yeah, yeah. So uh, it it's. Uh, it's some a lot of times it's like yeah you can help it but you can't help it yeah. sometimes you know what I mean it's not a matter of like you even understand what you're doing sometimes I kind of I, I kind of feel like just telling the person or asking a person like do you think you should do something about your weight is one thing I feel like a person who is the size of big pun knows that it's an issue they more or less just need an option an outlet to like 
actually start working on it. And because just just telling them, look, they already know they need to lose weight. They don't know how to do it because he's 700 pounds. Obviously, he doesn't know how to do it. Right. What he really needs is somebody to be like, look, we are going to the gym, me and you, somebody who can help get the person started on that. On that it's, journey. Yeah, it's a weird little it's a weird caveat because it's. It, but it's like with any other addiction, man. Yeah. It's like, it's like. luckily, you know, I was young. I was stupid. I, I did have like a traumatic thing happen, and that's probably where all the mm-hmm. eating came from. You know, now I'm an older man, and I've, I've come to terms. I eat healthy. I'm more of an average size. You know, like I'm not, not like that anymore. But not everyone has that realization. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Or has the willpower to go through it. That's the main thing. Like every heroin addict wants to stop doing heroin. At some point. They're like, man, I really need to stop doing this stuff. But guess what? They end up right back in the heroin, right back in the heroin bag, right back in the refrigerator. And it's, uh, yeah, it's figuring out what's causing it and getting through it. So it's, you know, it's, it's. It's a journey, man, but you know, hey, you know, I'm it glad is. I've come out on the other side of, yeah. of me, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. more of a regular size per it's still it's still weird because you know, when you're big like that, not seven hundred pounds, I could never fathom what that was like, but it's hard to adjust your mindset of how much space you take up in the world. <laughs> that <laughs> it, is very true. It's like, it's that like, cause when I was true. young, you know, you're used to something and you're yeah. really big, you take up a lot of space, whatever. And then now you're like, oh, I can fit into like a large shirt if I wanted to wear a large shirt, which is like. <laughs> A pretty average sized person, right? But then in your head, you're like, but don't I take up like all this space? Yeah, like shouldn't I still be buying double triple X's at this <laughs> right, point? Right, right. And it's it's uh it's really weird. Not. It's a weird mind fuck to like conceptualize how much space you take yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially yeah. when if you've had problems in the past, like I don't fit in that thing or whatever. You get used to not being able to shop at the regular places. Right, you know? right, exactly. And it's it's funny because you know it's like I've even had people be like, put this large shirt on and I'm like, I don't I never oh I'm not putting a large shirt I, I'm on. like, oh it it'll it, be tight. Yeah. I'm like, oh it fits. It's a little tight. They're like, it's not tight. You just think it's tight because you're, you wear No, it's touching my skin. I can <laughs> tell. <laughs> right. It's like <laughs> and that's the problem too is like you when you wear big, it's like, you know, it's like, I'll still wear bigger clothes around the house because they're yeah. comfortable. So then when I wear a shirt that fits, it feels ridiculously uncomfortable. Yes, yes. I'll give you that, dude. I, all of my all of my clothes when I was a little bit heavier myself, they all fit me like a clan's outfit. It was just like. What's a clan's outfit? Yeah, man. Oh, just, like, like, like the Ku Klux? <laughs> yes! Oh, okay. Like I didn't clan, recognize. Like a clan's robe. Okay. Yeah, like yeah. everything had to fit like that. But now, you know, you lose a little bit. Now you're like, yeah, you got to get into a little something a little skinnier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, show off some of those curves, Jonas. Jonas got hips. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> These hips don't lie, TNT. <laughs> me don't. and Shakira, we got one thing in Ooh, common. What they telling me, Jonas? What, uh, you, what <laughs> your hips telling me right now? Uh, that I'm sitting in a chair and I'm ready to go eat sushi later. <laughs> oh my um, god! Yeah, dude, it's, I just couldn't believe like. It's like, well, now, I guess my whole point is like, you know, no one came to me and said something to me when no. I was really big. No. And, and it did, I'm not offended by that. No. And in hindsight, I'm like, how would I have that conversation with a friend yeah. of mine? It would be hard, man. Um, Especially but, when they're rich and they're like the primary source of like all the income for the crew. Right. Exactly. Big but pun I would was think huge. that like your family would step in. <sighs> like, like your mom or something would be like, hey, honey. Um, When's the last time, time your mom told you something that you paid attention to? <laughs> <laughs> A buck. Yeah, that's fair. My mom has been telling me the same shit for years, and I never did. Oh, I know, dude. It's like, yeah, yeah it's it's. And, and here's the, my mom's actually cool. Like my mom doesn't care about it, like really much anything. I mean, my mom's cool too, Jonas. Well, yeah, like but it. she's like an old hippie. Like I could tell her oh, really okay, off the wall ish, yeah, 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 and she'd be like. I don't know how I feel about that, but whatever, you know. Yeah, yeah, and at this point, she realized I'm gonna do whatever the hell I want. Like I stopped listening to her a long time ago. I'm like, I will respect your opinion. And I'll put it in my brain, but I'm going to do what I want regardless, unless you're like trying to warn me a danger, then maybe I'll think about yeah, it and like yeah, yeah, think yeah. about that. So yeah, you're right. But it's like, yeah, it's in, but like, but it's a whole nother thing to like have your crew like change in the size of your clothes. So you don't think you're, yeah, that's, that's next level. But how are you so next ignorant to think level. like, oh man, I'm 700 pounds. I still fit into a two X. I'm all right. Don't you see the other two X's in the store? Like, yeah, just hand me that 2X. And you look at it, and you're like, it's the size of a napkin? <laughs> <laughs> you're like, this is what I wear. No. Wait a second. It's like this... a small picnic blanket. Exactly. It's like a, a, a burka. <laughs> I don't like the 2Xs in this store. Yeah, these 2 Why? Why does your 2X run small? That You know what? That is a thing, too. I and mean, that's the messed up thing is that is a thing. Oh, it really is. I've definitely bought some 2Xs where I'm like, this is not a 2X. Dude, I have a 2X shirt for a fact in a closet that I ordered 
that I still can barely fit into now that I can fit into a large shirt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm like, I who, what kind those. of 2X mother wearing this shit? Exactly. Like, I'm like, it's, it's anyone, and it's, and it's, and, and you know, we think it, we think we have it bad. Women have it worse because like an eight in eight in women's will be, yeah. it's like, I've had women be like, oh, in this size, I wear a six in this, I wear an eight in this, I wear a 10 and they're all pants. And I'm like, how the hell do you shop for anything online? And they're like, I don't. I don't understand you women. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> yeah, respect. So anyways, if you got a big friend out there and their, and their health is worried, may think about saying something to them, you know, because they're all going to be like Jonas and recognize it himself and get him back down to normal person size. Yeah, make him go to the gym with you or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, or at least go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, go to crazytown.com. And for Jonas, uh, we out.